All right, today in this video, I am going to show you how we are staking up some peppers. Um, we've got a, these are all the peppers that I started from seed um, several months ago. And I've got one little pepper right there that um, just the stem doesn't look very good. And so we're just gonna help it um, by putting a bamboo stake in it and staking it. I've already got the cage around it. So hopefully this will help uh, sturdy the stem. So what we're gonna do is I've got my bamboo stake and I've got my clippers and I've got my twine. So I'm just gonna put this stake in next to the pepper and put the, um, put the twine around the stem to help stabilize it. Right, that looks quite a bit better. Um, it's a small plant and I believe this is a shishito. Um, so I'm gonna basically just hope that it kind of trains itself to go up and that way I can treat it like an espalier tree where it will just, you know, right itself up. Um, so hopefully that will fix that one. One that we need to fix as well. I don't know, a bug flew around my head. All right, and now we have that one up too. I think this one was a chocolate bell, um, but the fruits are pretty little. You can see the fruits on that one. They're just little cuties. Um, they're kind of a flatter pepper, so I'm pretty sure these were the chocolate bell. So this area on the back of this trellis is kind of um, kind of a hodgepodge and kind of a mess. On this side, 
right? Um, you okay? Yeah, fly on my face. Oh. So right over here, these are Blahildi um, green beans that came back. Uh, they just self-seeded. And then along the bottom here, we have the purple potted asparagus long beans. And we just really aren't a fan of them. So I'm going to cut all of them out and pull everything off. And then there's also a bunch of milkweed behind. And that's a dog rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> there's also a bunch of milkweed behind the trellis that just kind of gets in the way. And I would really like for this to be either green beans or cucumbers. Um, so I think what we're going to do is we're just going to pull all the bean plants out. Um, I'm going to use my nippers and clip them off at the base. Um, that way all the nutrients from the green beans stay in the soil so that the, the roots just rot in the ground. Um, that way we're disturbing the soil as little as possible. And then I've got some seeds, but I'm not really sure exactly what I want to plant here yet. So we're going to cut everything out and see what we're left with. All right, I got everything off of that trellis and it already feels so much nicer. It was kind of a big burden. Um, just kind of looked at me every time I walked in because this is where there's my mess <laughs> but it's about to rain we've got huge storm clouds but this is where um, I need to pick up that trash too this is where my bench is and this is where the flowers and the arbor are so that I swear was just staring at me every time I came in the garden. So it feels nice just to have that out and fresh. And I think I might try a wave of, um, of Kentucky Wonder pole beans right here in this space. So this video is just a continuation of yesterday's video. We um, got rained out yesterday afternoon. So we went inside and played in there and so now I'm going to come back out and amend the um, the beds with some garden tone and then I'm going to put some seeds in. I have my seeds right over here right here these are my seeds I've got my coffee I've got my clippers just in case I need something I'm not exactly sure what all I'm going to plant. It's summer in Florida right now, so technically we're not really... I guess you shouldn't plant anything, but I'm going to um, go through these and I'm going to try my hand at some squash. The zinnias are going to go elsewhere. Um, and some pole beans. These are the Kentucky Wonder. I've had these seeds for forever. But these are the green bean seed that I grew up eating. Kentucky Wonder Brown pole beans. And then this was one that I've just had in my stash. Um, and I've never grown these before. But I have grown these. These are the, the dragon tongue. And I'm pretty sure these are a bush bean. So I'm going to do these in some of the beds as well. Here's a look at how the garden looks this morning. That's about a little after eight. The sun is, hasn't peeked over the fence yet. But the zinnias are beautiful. And the arbor is beautiful with the um, honeysuckle. There's more zinnias. I'm also going to treat the, um, I've got some plant tone, so I'm going to treat the hibiscus. She's looking a little worse for wear. So this is where I'll be working in um, these three little beds today.
Okay, so I've put down the fertilizer. I just kind of take the bag and just zhuzh <laughs> some fertilizer on the beds and I'll come in and mix it in with my hand. And these are the seed varieties that I've picked out for um, these three beds. So I'm gonna do this bed. I'm gonna plant the Kentucky Wonder pole beans on the trellis. And then I'm also going to do, um, what did I decide? Was I gonna do beans? Oh, I'm gonna do squash over here. So I'm gonna do the early white bush scallop squash. So this is like a um, patty pan squash, a white one. And I'm also gonna do the Binnings green tint. This is also another uh, patty pan, super cute. And then my favorite squash is the yellow crook neck. Don't give me the straight neck, I want the crook neck. And zucchini does not belong in the south. There, I said it. Um, in the small bed where we worked on the peppers yesterday, there's a little um, three by three foot section. And I'm gonna try my hand at um, planting these onions. These are the Granex hybrid. Um, we grow the short day variety down here in Florida because that's what Google told me to do. Um, and so I'm going, these were seeds that I bought late last year. Um, so I'm going to try my hand at those. So let's get the fertilizer zhuzhed in and the seeds planted and then we'll have a look at it afterwards an update on the pepper bed. So this is the bed that I have all the peppers in. The ones that I did from seed. And I showed you guys that I was going to be planting onions um, in the front half of this bed because next to it I planted, this is where I planted the squash in this bed, the yellow crookneck. Well, we went to a um, the local farm here to pick up some produce on Friday and they actually had pepper plants, mature pepper plants. And um, I hadn't planted any banana peppers. We didn't have any seeds for banana peppers. So I picked up these three and so this completes my pepper bed. So I've got the three banana peppers. I've got a pepper right there that's coming up from seed and I think that might be um, a habanada. And then I've got these right here, some cucumbers climbing up, which is exciting. And these peppers over here. Oh, the amaranth finally went down. And then I've got these peppers and those ones right back there. And then this guy that I don't know what any of them are. And then a whole bunch of milkweed that I think just needs to be transplanted. So to finish out this video, I am finally going to plant the rest of this bed. I think I'm just going to pop a couple of squash plants in, or squash seeds. And then I'm going to, um, or maybe, I don't think I'm going to do any more squash. Um, I don't want to experiment too much. So I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to plant the Kentucky Wonder pole beans like I was going to on this trellis. And then I think I will plant dragon tongue bush beans in the rest of this space. I do have four little okra plants right here that are doing really well. All right, I got my, you can't tell obviously because they're seeds, but I got my Kentucky Wonder pole beans planted along the back half of this, and then I did dragon tongue bush beans in the rest of this bed. So these two beds are taken care of, the pepper bed's taken care of, and yeah, so hopefully those squash will come up soon and we'll see how they do um, in the summertime. It's not really the time to plant squash, but you know, we'll give it a shot and see how it goes.